Now this question is from the 2008 Dunman High School Paper 2 Question 5 Okay, so it's a vector question So let's take a look at this Now the line L1 and L2 intersect at the point P with this position vector So we know that there are two lines L1 and L2 um, And we are given the equation of the lines But in a form that is not very useful so we need to uh, look at it and uh, reformat it a little so what we were interested in it now is that there's a plane called pi1 which contains l1 l2 so this is a pretty straightforward type of question so let us uh, quickly illustrate and see what we are dealing with so there's a pi1 and there's a line called l1 down here and there's a line called l2 down here so to find the equation of the plane we will need uh, the normal Okay, and the point. So the point is, um, well, pretty easy because we have two lines and therefore we have two points uh, that we can actually use. So the difficulty is to get the equation of the line L1 and L2 into a form that is useful for us. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so for part one, what we'll do will be for L1, alright, we will uh, rearrange, okay, what we have. So basically, what is given to us is i, j, k so we have to split it up into 1 plus 3 lambda and uh, 5 plus 2 lambda j and for k will be 12 minus 2 lambda so all in all what this actually tells us is that um, the equation will look like this 1, 5, 12 plus lambda 3, 2, minus 2 so this gives us the a point that's on L1 as well as the direction vector of L1. Okay, so that's it and done. Let's do the same for L2. So L2 will then be R equals to 1 plus 8 mu, um, 5 plus 11 mu, as well as 12 plus 6 mu. Okay, so again, what this tells us is that the point that's on L2 is 1, 5, 12, and the direction vector of this L2 will be 8, 11 and 6 ok there you go so this this is a definitely more useful kind of a form that we can actually use so what uh, we actually need now is actually to find the normal of the plane pi1 and how we are going to achieve that uh, if we're going to take the two direction vectors and we're going to cross them ok so when we take this direction of L1 cross with the direction of L2 Okay, we will get, so let's take a look, um, we cover this one, we have 2 multiplied by 6, which is 12, 12 minus away negative 22. Alright, that gives us a number of, um, say, 34 positive, okay. So how about the second one, we have 3 multiplied by 6 minus away the negative of 16, um, that gives us also 34 so but that will be a negative 34 because it's a j right and of course the last one we have 33 minus away 18 that gives us 17 of course all these you can do using your um, calculator okay of course being a direction vector a normal is a direction vector anyway so being a direction vector we can simplify this and uh, we can actually divide throughout by I mean, we can take out the common factor of 17, so that leaves us with 2, negative 2, 1. So this is the normal to the plane pi 1, okay? And uh, according to the formula, we need a bit of space. Okay, here we go. According to the formula that we all know, r dot n equals to a dot n. So therefore, uh, we will have r dot the normal being 2, negative 2, 1 equals to a, a being any point on the plane. So we basically have two points that's on the plane that we can use. Oh, actually we only have one because they are the common point, 1, 5, 12. So uh, we have no choice now and that I must use this point. So uh, a dot n. Okay, and of course um, the right hand side here will give us the answer of, um, so that becomes uh, r dot 2, negative 2, 1 equals to this will be 2, 2 minus 10 will give us negative 8, negative 8 plus 12, that gives us a 4 positive. And there you go, this will be the equation of pi 1. Okay, so let's move on to part 2. It says here that there's a point called Q with this position vector, and the line through Q perpendicular to pi 1 um, meets, meets pi 1 at R. So we're supposed to find the 
position vector, which is the point pi r. Um, actually, thinking about this, um, it is simply the foot of the perpendicular, isn't it? I mean, if you read the description. Okay, so let us illustrate this a little. Uh, this picture is a little bit off already. So let us uh, scroll down a little. Okay, so what it's trying to tell us in this part of the question is basically there's a plane. Well, of course, we know that there's a plane now. This plane is called pi 1. And there's a point called Q. Uh, hold on. Um, is it Q? Yeah, Q. 4, 0, 8. Okay, so this point Q has got the coordinate of 4, 0, 8. And this point Q is per um, and the line is perpendicular to this pi 1, which means it's in the same direction as the normal, uh, passes through or rather meets the pi 1, which intersects the pi 1 at the point called R, which is in this case the foot of the perpendicular from the point Q to R. Okay, something like this. So our, our job is to really find uh, the point R. And in this case, if you think a little bit about it, well, it is actually not that hard because this point R is actually the intersection point between this line and the plane. And to find all intersections, uh, all we need to do is just do simultaneous equation. So the good news is we actually have the equation of the plane. There you go. And therefore, all we need is really to find the equation of the line. And if we succeeded in finding the equation, equation of the line we can do the simultaneous equation and then we can find the point r okay sounds like a plan so let's move on so to find the equation of this line uh, what we need will be a point which is definitely point q 408 and a direction so the point uh, uh, sorry the line the equation of this line let's take a look equation of line will then be r equals to 408 plus uh, lambda is used, mu is used, so let's use alpha. Okay, uh, alpha, and of course the direction vector is actually the normal, so it's 2, negative 2, 1. So this is the equation of the line that we're talking about here, and this line will now intersect the plane um, pi 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve simultaneous equation, isn't it? So in order to solve simultaneous equ equation um, easily, what we'll do is we'll combine these two, uh, sorry, this, this, awesome looking uh, fraction uh, sorry vector into a single column vector okay so it looks a bit like this all right okay there you go so they are the same it's just that I combine them together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna substitute this uh, line which is R okay into this plane okay and this is how we solve the simultaneous equation all right so we we'll end up having something like this minus 2 alpha 8 plus alpha and we're going to dot with 2 negative 2 1 and that should give us 4 so solving this gives us 8 plus 4 lambda plus 4 lambda eh, no sorry alpha um, plus 8 plus alpha equals to 4 so this gives us 9 alpha equals to wow well, um, 8, 8, 16, 16 and uh, this will give us negative 12 so after simplifying alpha will be equal to negative 4 over 3 so this is the alpha value but it's not uh, really the point R but well it will be very helpful to help us find the point R so what we need to do now is obviously um, substitute in this alpha value into the equation of the line okay and therefore Okay, let's change it back to blue color. Therefore, OR, which is the point of intersection, will be equal to 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 third minus 2 multiplied by negative 4 third and 8 plus the negative of 4 third. Of course, all these values you can use your calculator to your, you know, uh, work it out and of course uh, the answer should be uh, very neatly uh, 4 third and 8 over 3 as well as 20 over 3 and there you go shown okay anyway this question is a show question so we can easily um, double check our answers and there you go okay I mean you got to be confident that you're right okay so let's move on to the last part which is um, quite interesting now because uh, we have one more plane coming so pi 2 pi 3 has uh, uh, two planes with this equation so 
uh, where a and b are constant so basically this pi 2 is interesting because we don't really have the normal okay uh, find the, an equation satisfied by a and b such that the two three planes do not have a common point now, when the three planes do not have any common point, what it means is that um, they they are either um, okay. Of course, they are not three parallel planes, right? So um, okay, let us uh, illustrate what it means. Okay, it could mean that uh, there are two planes that are parallel and one being not parallel. Okay, yeah, I try my best. Okay, and uh, of course, the other one will be the so-called A-shaped kind of plane, right? So they don't have any common point. Okay, okay. So so basically, this is what we're looking at. Um, they don't have any common point. I'm I'm quite sure you know uh, what it means by uh, not having any common point. Okay, so let us list down all the equations that we have. So for pi one. Uh, which was the equation that we had earlier on uh, let us copy down which is this one right r dot 2 negative 2 1 equals to 4 so uh, r dot 2 negative 2 1 equals to 4 and there's a pi 2 of which uh, we don't know much so let's take a look at pi 2 uh, pi 2 is here 2 a b equals to 5 so r dot 2 a b equals to 5 and there's a pi 3 the third plane okay and uh, it looks like this uh, 1 negative 3 negative 1 7 so 1 negative 3 negative 1 equals to 7 okay I hope I got this right though okay so now but what exactly does it mean that when you have three planes that they don't have the same plane oh sorry they don't have any common point so well if you think a little bit harder okay it goes to say that the intersection line between any two planes must be parallel to the third plane that we're talking about Right, it, it sounds pretty abstract and it is actually not very difficult not very easy to draw uh, first of all let us understand that, that these three planes they are actually not three parallel planes agree so they obviously they're not three parallel planes uh, that that looks a bit like this okay use your imagination right these three planes they are parallel so we are most likely uh, looking at two planes um, I mean there is a chance that two planes are parallel all right and um, two planes parallel and one is not or we are looking at uh, a, a scenario like 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 this uh, okay now what I want you to imagine is this or, or rather we, what you need to understand is this that there there will be intersections okay there will be intersections between any two planes all right except uh, I mean this is not the case we're looking for oh this looks messy like five planes now okay but in any case um, any two planes they will intersect and when any two planes intersect um, there will be a line okay and I want you to imagine that the line of intersection let's just take this a shape okay the line of intersection between the two planes okay let's call this pi 1 okay and let's call this pi 2 right this one this one, this one is pi 2 and uh, this one is pi 1 okay so the line of intersection will have to be parallel to the pi 3 so that the pi 3 will never meet the line of intersection okay so the whole idea is that the, the third plane the pi 3 okay the, the, the three planes all don't have any common point so it means that the third plane should not intersect the line of intersection between the other two planes in, in other words the line of intersection between the other two planes must be parallel to the third plane okay so let's let's take this um, you know particular question for 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 example so what we understand is that the l1 and l3 they will intersect agree and we can actually solve this intersection pretty easily all right by punching in our gc simultaneous equation so uh, we can we can attempt to do that now so pi 1 will be 2x minus 2y plus z equals to 3 sorry equals to 4 and pi 3 will be x minus 3y minus z equals to 7 so using our GC we will be able to get the equation of the line okay so so from our GC we actually get something like this whereby it's x equals to negative half minus 5 over 4 z 
and y equals to negative 5 over 2 minus 3 over 4z and of course uh, z equals to z okay and this all this becomes r equals to negative half negative 5 over 2 0 plus um, beta now um, minus 5 over 4 minus 3 over 4 and 1 and of course this being the direction we can always simplify it so we have minus 1 uh, sorry minus half minus 5 over 2 and 0 plus beta so if you were to take out um, all the one quarter so it gives us minus 5 minus 3 and 4 okay so now this is the direction of the intersection um, line okay now of course this is one way by GC all right we actually have another way to find the direction of uh, this intersection line and that is to simply cross these two normals all right so if you cross this normal with this normal all right you will actually end up with uh, the same direction over here okay remember the spine of the book analogy that I show, show you in class okay so it's spine of the book right when you cross the two normal you actually get the direction of the spine of the book so in any case right this direction of the line of intersection okay must not meet pi 2 that's the whole idea because the moment pi 2 somehow meets this line um, we're gonna have trouble because uh, that means they have common points okay so the whole idea is that this pi 2 cannot meet this line and the only way not to allow or rather not to have this line um, intersecting this plane at all is to make sure they are parallel okay so you can imagine that you have a plane and you have a line like this and hovering above it all the time but what it means is that to be parallel to the plane means on the other hand it must be perpendicular to the normal okay in another words if I were to take the direction of the line which is minus 4 minus 3 4 um, minus 5 minus 3 4 and if I were to dot the 2 a B I should get 0 ah and 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 this goes a long way to help us understand what the question really wants us to do because the, what the question wants us to do is to um, hold on let me screw it up for you to see okay so, so in case you've forgotten this is a lengthy question find an equation satisfied by a and b aha so our job is not to solve for a or b our job is really to find an equation involving a and b such that the three planes don't intersect and there you go this is how you handle the whole question